Want to know how to set up an eSIM on an iPhone? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of daily technology news and reviews, and today we're going to be talking about how to set up an eSIM on an iPhone. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Router. We're on them at the end of the video. So the article itself is going to be pretty simple. Today we're going to be saying goodbye to your physical SIM card and getting started with eSIM on your iPhone 14. Let's jump right in. If you buy an iPhone 14 or any of the uh, phone in the series in the US, you'll notice it's missing one key feature, a SIM tray. That's because Apple's going all in on eSIM, which is a digital version of the tiny card that allows you to use your wireless provider's network. Don't get me wrong, it's it's basically capable of doing the exact same uh, you know thing that your SIM card is able to do. It's just you know capable of doing it without actually having a physical SIM card inside your phone. There's good news and bad news here. Uh, if you're switching from an older iPhone, activating an eSIM on your new iPhone is incredibly easy. If you're switching from an Android phone to an iPhone 14, however, well, uh, it's less straightforward. Let's call it that. Whichever path you need to take, uh, you know, uh, we're going to be covering some guides around that. And so regardless of iPhone or Android users, this video should cover both. Starting off with iPhone, uh, you know, users, uh, the fact that you already have, uh, you know, one of the previous iPhones or older iPhones and you want to switch to iPhone 14 and uh, want to set up your eSIM. Uh, to switch from an iPhone with a physical SIM card to an eSIM iPhone 14, follow these steps. Make sure your old iPhone is running iOS 16 or later, Bluetooth is turned on, and you have a passcode set up for the biometric unlocking. Enter the eSIM setup process on the new iPhone. Uh, you'll either see this in initial phone setup or you can come back to it at any time by going to settings, then cellular, and then setup cellular. Tap transfer from nearby iPhone. Uh, bring your old iPhone close and if prompted, enter the verification code displayed on your new iPhone. So basically from one phone uh, to the other phone. That's uh, how you're going to be using that code. On the new iPhone, select the phone number you want to transfer from the options on screen. Uh, tap to confirm that you want to transfer your number. Uh, you'll do this uh, on the old iPhone too. So you're basically replicating this step on both phones. Uh, your physical SIM will be converted to eSIM as part of the process. Uh, keep your phones uh, close to each other until you see cellular setup complete. And uh, there you have it. Confirm that you see your carrier's icon and service bars on top of your screen and voila, you're living the eSIM life. Just be aware that your old SIM card or physical SIM card I should say will no longer work. And if you want to switch back at any point, you'll need to contact your carrier for a new one. So that's uh, as far as right now, this is a one way transition. You can go from physical to digital on your own or eSIM if you will, but you can't necessarily do it vice versa. And if you ever need to go from your eSIM back to, uh, to uh, I don't know, a physical SIM, say, you know, you're switching from an iPhone to uh, an older iPhone or maybe an Android, in which case you will need to contact your uh, SIM card carrier. We actually have a couple of screenshots around this. Uh, eSIMs you can see uh, used as secondary and obviously the numbers have uh, been blanked out. Uh, the primary set um, and this is what the uh, setup screen should look like. Um, now let's talk about having the same setup, uh, in this case eSIM, but you know when you're coming from an Android phone. To switch from an Android phone to an iPhone 14, uh, whether you're using a physical SIM or already have an eSIM, you'll need help from your wireless carrier. This may vary in difficulty depending on your carrier, for example. T-Mobile offers instructions on its websites to uh, change your SIM in your account settings. While AT&T, uh, bring your own device page, uh, will walk you through eSIM activation in your account. Ryzen, on the other hand, is working on a self-service tool for eSIM transfers from Android to iPhone. But for now, you'll need to call customer service to switch. So two websites, they are providing you instructions on how to exactly do it. And the third one, Verizon in this case, uh, you know, you're going to have to talk to them, plain and simple. No matter who your carrier is, remember to turn off RCS or risk communication service on your Android device uh, before switching so you don't miss any messages. 
In Google's Messages app, for example, you can do this by tapping the profile icon or three dots a menu icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen, uh, tap settings, uh, chat features, and then toggle off enable chat features. If you do need to call your carrier to move your uh, number to your new iPhone, make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and if possible, call from another phone line. If you can't do that, let the customer service representative know that you're calling from the line you want to switch since you'll likely be disconnected. That's part of the transition that you uh, want to make uh, in this case. Uh, they should be able to email you a QR code so you can finish the setup process yourself. and. Um, uh, depending on again uh, whoever your carrier is uh, it, it can be a cakewalk or it can be a long and tedious process uh, this is not necessarily an Android thing this is I uh, will uh, obviously um, you know Apple wants its users to like have the most seamless and most uh, you know easy experience uh, doing this transition but then again, they only have so much control and uh, uh, there's a lot of things that come into play from the carrier's end as well uh, when making this transition. So uh, right now, it's only one way uh, a transfer. Even in the best case scenario, you can go from physical to the eSIM, uh, you know, with just a couple of steps. But you can't necessarily go the way back. And uh, I'd wager somewhere down the line, hopefully in the near future, they'll be able to come out. Uh, I don't know, maybe it will be a combined effort between the carriers and, you know, Apple where they can, uh, you know, meet in the middle somewhere and be like, hey, uh, now uh, you can actually go ahead and, uh, you know, switch back and forth if you like. Just make sure you have or keep your physical SIM card in handy. But yeah, uh, SIM cards are, you know, Apple's uh, one of the main trendsetters in the industry. And uh, uh, the trend that it's trying to set is that SIM cards are going bye bye. But yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Let me know yours down in the comment section below. Clean Router is the only router you will ever need because it allows parents to easily manage all the devices in their homes and stop internet pornography. It's simple and easy to use, doesn't slow down the internet, and allows you to block pornography, gambling, and anything else that you don't want your kids to see using the 7 layer IntelliFilter. Logs all activities per device. It also allows you to put time restrictions, get email reports, and gives you the ability to block content by keyword words and even filters YouTube. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.